एडवांस एवीडी कोर्स 2023 एवरीवन आई होप यू आर अवेयर अबाउट द टीच मी क्लाउड टीच मी क्लाउड ऑलवेज ट्राई टू गिव यू द क्वालिटी बेस्ड कंटेंट दोज कंटेंट्स कैन हेल्पफुल फॉर टू बूस्ट योर आईटी करियर दोज कंटेंट कैन हेल्प यू टू क्रैक एनी टेक्निकल इंटरव्यूज आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड मल्टीपल प्लेलिस्ट लाइक यू कैन फाइंड द वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू वी एम वेयर वर्चुअलाइजेशन आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड द प्ले लिस्ट फॉर सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन सेवन पॉइंट जीरो एंड एट पॉइंट जीरो एज वेल ईच एंड एवरी प्ले लिस्ट कंटेन मोर देन ट्वेंटी इज वीडियो राइट सो इट मीन्स दैट वी हैव अनफ कॉन्टेंट इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू लर्न द वर्चुअलाइजेशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इम्प्लीमेंट द प्रैक्टिकल यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रबल शूट द रियल टाइम इशूज डेफिनेटली दीज वीडियोज कैन हेल्प यू नॉट ओनली फॉर द वर्चुअलाइजेशन यू कैन ऑल्सो फाइंड द वीडियोज बेस्ड ऑन एज यूर uh administrator azure architect even although i have already uploaded the azure virtual desktop as well but the videos that i uploaded all the videos are based on the old portal because i created the playlist for avd uh, i think before 10 month ago i i think 8 8 to 10 month ago so what i am going to do as per the demand of market as per the company's requirement as per the client's requirement i am going to add one more playlist for azure virtual desktop and this playlist list is based on the latest content right you know that each and every provider each and every cloud provider can make a lots of changes with their portal right they are increasing the graphic they are adding the some security points they are making a changes a lot over the portal so it's our responsibility we must need to aware about the services let's take an example if we talk about the old playlist of our azure uh, virtual desktop in old playlist of azure virtual desktop we completed our entire setup with the help of azure ad connect and azure ad service but nowadays we are unable to find the azure ad because it consider as a intra admin huge gap between the intra admin and azure active directory because the intra admin can give us some more security and more features that can help us to protect our infrastructure so that's why that's why it's our responsibility we must need to upgrade ourselves according to the changes of our cloud service provider i'll try to give you the complete information about uh, azure virtual desktop and vdi because you know that the azure virtual desktop is a part of vdi right if you have idea about the vdi like the virtual desktop interface then definitely you are able to understand about how we can manage the services related to avd i'll try to start from the very basic and definitely will follow the blueprint of microsoft because you know that if we check the previous playlist that i have already uploaded on my youtube uh, channel so each and every content i created according to the blueprint of microsoft as it is let me give you the details or uh, uh, you can say that the road map of our this course and uh, uh, that you can understand about the value of our latest course of uh, azure virtual desktop so let me move ourselves to the desktop screen let me move ourselves to the whiteboard screen and give you the complete information about how we can set up how we can manage our playlist and which types of content you can find you will find in this particular playlist right so right now we are on our desktop screen or you can say that our whiteboard screen and our agenda the course name is advanced avd course 2023 based on the content of contents of uh, 2023 so in this part basically i'll start from the very basic like we'll start from the concept of VDI solution, right? You should know about what is meaning of VDI solution. We'll talk about Azure Virtual Desktop means AVD. How we can manage the AVD environment? We'll talk about Azure AD. Now it become a intra admin, right? It's our responsibility. We should know about uh, ADDS on server operating system. I'm talking about. over a server 2016 and 2020 2019 and 2022 right we'll talk about vnet which is one of important service or uh, you need to know about the concept of vpn 
because without vnet or vpn we are unable to set up our uh, avd host pool we'll also talk about uh, the concept of avd host pool right we'll discuss about the number of session that we can create and number of virtual machines vm and session because you know that in case of video solution if you want to set up the environment so a single virtual machine you can create a multiple session to access the same virtual machine from multiple users at a time apart from the session i'm going to give you the complete detail about gold image means how we can create a gold image right you can say that template of virtual machine template of uh, vm next we'll talk about save the profile data so to save the profile data definitely you must need to use fs logics right the fs logic is a type of tools that they, that help us to configure the profile of our user we'll also discuss about the auto scaling part how we can configure the auto scaling to protect the environment we'll talk about vpn setup for avd host pool the meaning of vpn setup for host pool like you establish your domain controller on on premises and you are trying to use your on premises domain controller to manage the avd host pool virtual machine then vpn come into the picture we'll also give you the details related to the management of application and app and rdp management right number next we'll give you the troubleshooting point which types of issues you need to face you will uh, means uh, which types of issues normally we can face we, we are facing in case of avd environment number next we'll talk about the monitoring and alert for avd right so these all are the components that we are going to cover in this particular uh, uh, playlist right and also let me show you the content microsoft content the course code is 140 and in this course code i'm giving you the advanced things advanced content those contents are fully based on practical means we will discuss about each and every point with proof with practical as we discussed before it is categorized in four different part the uh, you can say that we can we need to follow a four different module to understand about the concept of uh, azure virtual desktop and the first module is plan and implement azure virtual desktop interface second module is plan and implement identity and security which is correlated to the intra admin plan and implement user environments and application monitor and maintain an azure virtual desktop infrastructure so far four different module we need to cover in this particular in their course so this is these all are the module if we talk about the core components right the content that we need to cover in these modules so i'm going to start from the very basic like introduction azure virtual desktop for enterprise azure virtual desktop components personal and pool desktop service update for azure virtual desktop administrator uh, limitation and uh, for azure virtual desktop azure virtual machine sizing for avd azure virtual machine desktop azure virtual desktop pricing so these all are the basic things that we need to cover and if you open it like component if we talk about the components once you click on the component it will give you lots of detail component means those services can help us to manage our avd host pool so if we talk about the component so you are responsible to manage the session host this is the type of component you are responsible to manage the gateway about the server licensing you should know about the web access you must need to know about the storage part right about the images of operating system application and number of users 
The meaning of components in Azure Virtual Desktop means those services are mandatory to set up our AVD environment are considered as a AVD components. So it's our responsibility. We should know about the usage of these component because each and every components can play the vital role to manage our uh, AVD environment or AVD host pool environment. Let me start from the very basic web access gateway connection broken broker diagnostic and uh, extensibility components. These all are the important components can help us to manage our AVD environment. Let's take an example like as a web access. The web access service within Windows Virtual Desktop lets users, uh, users access virtual desktop and remote applications through an HTML5 compatibility browser. Okay, let me help you to understand. As we discussed before, the AVD is the part of VDI solution. So to understand more about it, you must need to know about the concept of VDI, right? The VDI is a basically virtual desktop interface. N number of tools are available in the market. N number of uh, softwares are available in, in the market that help us to create VDI infrastructure. Like as we can set up our VDI solution using Windows Server Operating System. Yes, it may be 2012, 16, 19, anything. The service name that help us to set up VDI is RDS, Remote Desktop Services. I'm talking about the terminal services. services. Someone, um, multiple people can say like, uh, this is the uh, terminal servers. I wanted to create terminal servers. So terminal services is, is also type of RDS or WBDI. VMware Horizon, right? Yes, VMware Horizon is also a type of VDI, right? That also give us option to set up our VDI solution. Number third, if you good with the Zen server, right? So Zen server is a type of VDI that help us to set up our VDI solution and Zen server is part of Citrix. Correct? But these tools that you need to configure, these tools that you need to configure using high configuration of hardware means these services you need to implement by using your on-premises hardware resources. Like you need to set up your own server, your responsibility to set up your own server with high configuration, right? And after that, you need to install the tool. It may be VMware Horizon, And by using the VMware horizon, we are able to create multiple VMs and we can access our single virtual machine through multiple users as well. User one, user two and user three means three different users are able to access your virtual machine on single click at the same time. Think about the value of VDI solution. So, as it is, you can set up your infrastructure by using Zen server, right? And you can set up your environment by using the Windows server. But unfortunately, these all are type of on-prem setup. So in case of on-premises setup, you are responsible to take care of the hardware. You are responsible to take care of the storage, hardware health of our server monitoring, backup, restore, replication, each and every points you need to perform. But think about, you don't want to purchase, you don't want to invest any amount for the hardware, to buy the hardware, because once you purchase the hardware, you must need to hire two or three different engineers who can perform the task 24 by seven to monitor the health of our server. Because you know that if you establish a VDI solution for 200 users and think about if your server is down, then definitely we will lose the 200 employees. We, have, we, we will lose the 200, um, the work of 200 employees basically. So Microsoft introduced new service for VDI. Yes, it is also a type of VDI. Microsoft give us an option to set up our cloud VDI. Yes, the AVD is a type of cloud VDI. 
In this case, what are the prerequisites? Very simple step that you need to use. You need to create your portal account as your uh, subscription. You need to purchase the Azure subscription. That's it, I think. Yeah, you need to add your credit and debit card. Use definitely intra admin. And you need to use VNet that we will cover. We'll use our custom domain and we can set up our AVT host board. So these all are the points that we need to know in case of implementing our AVT solution over a Azure portal or over a cloud. So definitely I'll try to give, give you my label best to understand and definitely I'll try to make you expert in Azure virtual desktop. Okay, so you, these all are the topic. I hope you guys are able to understand. So please do subscribe your on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Definitely, I'll give you the quality based content, and definitely, this content can help you to boost your career. One more point, just wanted to add uh, if you want to take live session of Azure Virtual Desktop, so you can ping me, and definitely, I'm going to start a new AVD. Uh, session live session so i'll add you in our live sessions as well so that's it guys please do subscribe and do support teach me cloud your on youtube channel and also give your suggestion yes definitely you must need to give your suggestion that i can improve the quality of our video the quality of our training because it's your platform that's it guys let's connect in the first session of avd solution AVD solution or a VDI solution and discuss more about the practical implementation. Thank you guys. Take care and bye-bye.